Hello YouTube, my name is Woodsy. Uh, today we're back in Corpse, or well, we're not back in it. We are starting a new series, Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Said I wouldn't do it, but I'm going to. Two reasons. One, I want to see more of the Corpse Party universe. It's really fun. It's a really great series. Not fun. It's a terrifying and dark series, but um, I like the series. I like the universe. Uh, two, I really have nothing else to record right now, so let's do it. We're going to start off with Seal. That's the one I like starting off with anyway. Hopefully this isn't incredibly loud. Thank you. What lovely weather. I wonder how Yumi's going to school today. Hope she's enjoying herself. Hino. Um... The spirits seem unusually active again, though. I found out I can blast through scenes really quickly by holding tab. Sorry, I won't do that again. That probably ruins it. Um, and there's that old sense of unease, too. That same one you mean have been feeling all our lives, but stronger than ever. I don't like it one bit. Excuse me, I'm sick. So if you, uh... If I sniffle a lot, I'm sorry. I can sense it. It's presence. It's gotten very, very close. But that's preposterous, right? Probably just imagining things. You may be, you may not be. I don't know who Hino is. Hinoi? I don't know how to pronounce Japanese names, still. I can do Korean names, no problem, but Japanese ones, no. Maybe it'd be best if I talked with her about it. <laughs> Smells like my computer's on fire. Oh, I only hope nothing bad happens. Yes, I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording this through the PSP emulator. Um, this is a point-and-click game, by the way. It is a straight visual novel. That was the one reason why I originally did not want to play it. Threw to my bag, collapsed onto the bed, stared up the ceiling. Uh, these are my familiars, the familiar lighting, the familiar patterns in use well, and that familiar stain in the corner. Uh, this is not like the last game. We can't move around at all, we can't click on anything, you know, we don't have free realm. It's essentially a visual novel, so we'll see how it goes. If people want me to keep playing it, I will. If not, no kidding. It was my fifth birthday and just happened to open a can of soda I've been shaking. Staring up my ceiling was something I'd done a million times before. Today it felt strange. Like I'd just come, like I'd just come from doing the exact same thing. Seriously, it's, it smells like either my computer's burning or someone's burning incense. Not talk, talking the general act of lying in bed and looking up. More specific sense that I experienced a singular moment in time once before. Uh, you probably escaped. Um, Heavenly Host. I'm trying to remember. It's been a little while since I played any type of corpse party. Hi, Aimi. I believe the term you're looking for is deja vu. Supposedly, deja vu signifies that a new destiny has just been born within you. This is essentially how the game is going to be. This is like a, essentially like a dialogue, in case you don't know what a visual novel is. So congratulations, Nagashima may be a whole new person. Hehe. <laughs> so said the cloth rip, making light of the situation in her, unu in her usual creepy way. Maybe she was right, been more cognizant of my actions since- that's a big word for a middle school kid. <laughs> Usually, if I pay too much attention to every little thing I do, I begin obsessing, and then I just give myself a headache, and then I'm calling it quits. This deja vu was real, and it was far stronger than any right to be. That wasn't your run-of-the-mill spooky feeling, it was all-encompassing. Hi, Seiko. Haven't seen you. Living in a while. Hmm, no matter where you go in this house, it all smells just like you, Naomi. Is, is this heaven? Wait. Oh, I am Naomi right now. I swear, Seiko, doesn't it feel like this has all happened once before? Sorry, I need to adjust a little bit. What has? You, sleeping over here. Yeah, girl. So the next day we were both like, hey, let's go clothes shopping. Do you remember? Surely you jest. Long have I sought to capture the infiltrate the walls of this holy temple, but today mocks my first successful conquest. Yeah, I guess this isn't the sort of thing I'd half forget quite so easily. Finally, the flag has been planted. Seiko and Naomi together at last. But this could be lots of fun. What was that all about a flag? I think you know. She really wants Naomi badly. 
So I began my first ever slumber party with Neiko. That's Seiko, sorry. Oh, I just blended the names. Okay. The moment fifth period ex ex ended that day, we tore right out of school and loaded up on all the junk food and drinks we could carry. Say so I've been friends forever, neither of us stayed at the same mother's house before, so we're pretty excited this is going to be fun. Naomi, did you find a quick call home? These kids are where it be, but I still... I should still check in since I didn't have a something or other. Sure, go ahead. Do you need to use landline? Nope. Cell phone will be just fine. I guess worry about poor little you, you know? You'd be so sad if I didn't raise call. No problem. Do your thing. I'll take quick back from break. Exit the room, glance behind me, see Seiko holding a cell phone with her in one hand while flashing me a peace sign in the other. It's a new idea, it's been a friend waiting for me in my room when I get back, so exciting. Oh, the things we could talk about that night, where would we start? What story should we tell? I don't know. I don't know how, um, how a girl's slumber party is. I know how a guy's slumber party is. It isn't. For men. Uh, looks like Dad's going to be late tomorrow morning, you, so I'll head your way after the festival cleanup and all the goodbyes. Sorry for the singing, if you can hear that. My dad thinks he's a regular vaudeville. Uh, then we can get ready for Dad's special surprise together, okay? Yep. Give all my love to the others and make sure you tu tuck in tight tonight so you don't catch cold. They holding up okay? Sure are, which means I've got nothing to worry about. Arigato. I can enjoy my time with you to the fullest. Sounds like you're gonna have some fun. I bet you are too. And this is how a Yuri is born. So, what should we talk about? Anything you like, just be glad this blissful opportunity. Really can't say I felt so shy and embarrassed, probably because she really wants you badly. Ching Seng from school in person, especially because bring us a lot closer. Found myself staring at Seiko's face as of studying it. Did she always look like that? This was someone who regarded me as a friend. Aww, all kinds of Indian thoughts were swimming through my head, and for some reason they were making me really nervous. You know what we got? We got the chocolate soda we bought. We'll try it out. Oh god, no. Oh, I tried chocolate soda. That stuff's so nasty. Took a bottle we purchased and poured its fizzy contents through cups at the faintest tinge of chocolate color that was otherwise clear. Hit the bottom of the cup, that familiar comforting sizzle of carbonic acid. Carbonic? Rising from liquid echoes echoed forth amidst a froth of bubbles. Well, it's sure a pretty color. What do you do with the rest of it if it sucks? Do exactly what I do. It's in my fridge. No, I think I dumped it out. It's terrible. Maybe something, something. Hey, that's a good idea. All right, here you go, Seiko. Thanks. Right. Let's bring Kamala one through. Sounds good. One, two, three. Oh, I see. You kids are crazy. That stuff tastes like shit. I might, I might have got like a really bad chocolate soda. Maybe it was like really old. I don't know. Before I knew it, we were up to our old tricks, taking, talking on and on like we always did at school. Ooh, we smiled, laughed, felt joy all the same time, at, the same ti at all the same things. Spending this time together, we could each forget about our troubles for a while. Man, you're like 14. What troubles do you have? Getting, like, caught in a murderous school? I was starting to get really sentimental. I had no idea why. I certainly couldn't admit to her, though, or I'd never hear the end of it. Well, hello. I just keep thinking to myself, I really hope Seiko and I can be friends. Like this clean into adulthood for the rest of our lives, even. Maybe it's even this weird sense of camaraderie one tends to feel during overnight field trips. I don't know. Hmm. Nakashi Miss Nakashima. This food is too pet. You heard that, right? Excuse me again. Thank you. You two are certainly close, aren't you? Yeah, Seiko's a little closer than I am, probably. I've heard so much about you, Shinohara, that I simply have had to meet you one of these days. Naomi's well, been talking about me, I should. Oh, all the time, you know, she's over the hot topic around here. She never fails to have some story when you two went for did. So I've accepted the family then, my tears of joy overflow, the prospect must be ready to be ready. She's adorable but crazy. Naomi loves talking about that Satoshi Nochida boy. Uh, it's the end that I... Huh? I have a hard enough time reading Japanese names normally, not in Pig Latin. 
Ixne on the out at at Tosh at Toshi say, okay? No worry, I know all about her feelings for her beloved no, she does. No, when I still feel like may seem like a strong girl, she's really quite the shy one. Stop, stop. Stop. Stop you. Well, you're certainly well informed. Let's say you and I have a girls' night out sometime. I'll teach you something good to return. You tell me everything you know about Naomi from school. It'd be an honor and a privilege, Miss Nakashima. Come on now. Well, then you two have gotten sufficiently stuffed. I've drawn a bath, so you should head in while the water's still warm. I assume you'll be okay and together since you're both girls now. Yeah, she is really. What are you talking about? Are we really going to bathe together? She is. What's this flag business about? Make sure you two get nice and warm. Oh God, is, this, is there going to be hentai from the beginning? Move the lapels, lapels of our school uniform on the way to the bathroom area. Still felt about that comfortable, so I guess suggest we wave separately. But Seiko just mumbled that resistance is futile. I said about taking my clothes. So like this with moment she had my old outer uniform stripped away in no time at all. She's a bona fide pro. A real expert at taking people's clothes off. Disturbingly well practiced. Mm. <laughs> that was that was a weird ass noise. The hot water at your house doesn't mess around. Mom likes to in the world's hottest baths. I keep telling her that she that when you're soaking lower temperatures are better, she never listens. Man, no. Crank that bitch up to like 110 degrees and slowly bake my brain from the inside out. Oh well. What's this? Your body feeling chilled? Well then take this. Gotta catch cold if you're not careful. You gotta be quick at taking your clothes off. Come on, don't be shy here. Look this way. I had such a dumb, self-satisfied expression on her face. She scooped part of the base and dumped it over our heads. I think you're unshy enough for the both of us. I mean, you're the one who tore off all my clothes like they were paper. <laughs> I do bathe in a little bit of this every day, so I've gotten pretty good at speed stripping other people. Speed stripping? That makes sense, actually. Anyway, you need to loosen up. Let's take this opportunity to deepen our friendship. Deepen straight our fists straight up. There. Yeah, but anyway. You've totally broken me out of my shell. Now, what do I wash my. What do I wash? What do you wash my back? Oh, ho, yes, please. Oh. I lathered up like a brand new silk towel with body soap and began washing. Never noticed before what a classic beauty she was. Bought the special for you. It's censored, don't worry about it. How's it feel? Yeah, that's it. Right and that's all the language broke down and the sound of a the bathroom began resembling strange animalistic cries rather than human speech. You sound demented. Just a little farther up, please. Here? Yeah, right there. Oh. I made you itchy a bit. Aren't these girls a little well endowed for being like middle schoolers? Didn't take long for Seiko's back completely enveloped in soap suds. Could still detect her reaction every touch. Yeah. Ooh. Don't tell me you're ticklish. Guess secrets out. I'm really, really ticklish. Uh, was that? Couldn't hear the sound of my furious finger work. Uh, oh no. And nothing was going to stop me from giving Seiko's back the full treatment. After all, homeroom today was spent setting up the culture festival and built up pretty dusty. Nice scrubbing exactly what we both needed. Stop squirming. Was that part of the game? Hmm. I heard like a big scream. Anyway, I really can't see them out now, but it's all about that sexy, sexy collarbone. God damn it, I missed that again. You sound like an old fogey or something. What's a fogey? So beautiful and so big. Don't think that's my collarbone you're staring at. Yes, it's Seiko staring at my chest with hungry eyes. Suddenly, had another flash day show with uncomfortable one. My eyes drifted to her neck. There's some sort of mark there, a bruise that wrapped all the way around. How your neck? Did you scratch yourself or something? Sorry. Really uncomfortable. It's pretty faint, but there's a red mark. I don't remember injuring myself or anything. Bruce her neck a little slight, looked less spotty, and appears to be made by human hands. 
布でこすったような感じだった。Like、that. Like came from cloth. I was all wearing a kimono cord tied around her neck. Oh, okay. Like, why is she so damaged? I hope it heals soon, whatever it is. Naomi. I can't hold back any longer. Oh, no. Three, two, one. I just gotta grab that ass. Chase on. Cool down, girl. I think you've totally gotten mental on me. I just can't help myself. Seiko really loves Naomi, in case you missed the first game. She is like the biggest crush on her. You know, we do have a spare futon. Don't worry, I'm fine right where I am. Sharing a single bed to make for a warm night, either is rolled over, the other is going to wind up clear on the floor. Off the bed to her is perfectly willing to spend the night on roll up futon, she wouldn't have it. This is going to be a long episode, by the way. As long as you don't feel too crowded, I guess. Mmm, it's all warm and cozy, I love it. If only I could kiss you like this, I'd die a happy woman. I could lift shape or something number three and looked expectant. I would have gotten into her. No, I better not. Happy woman or no, I'd hate to see you die. <laughs> hmm? Just thinking, this is really fun. We're on the point where I started to realize the truth about Seiko. If, not, it's an, if an outsider were to witness her blatant act of harassment, my complete dismissal of it, they'd assume we were more than friends, too. But it's not like I was actually in love with her. I didn't really feel that way at all. I just thought of her as a very dear friend and figured the closeness we had was pretty normal. I don't know, I guess so. It seemed natural, in fact, that our behavior would lead to a third party misunderstanding every now and then. Now and again. And I just have to set the record straight. Honestly, in the situation like that arose, they were pretty fun, they were in strange, so these were away. You know, this is the first time I've ever had a friend over. My first sleepover, too. Sure beats lying in bed alone, I'll tell you what. You okay? I might have slapped you a bit too. <laughs> Should have put your back into a slugger. Don't worry, I'm just fine. Seiko's rubbing her face lightly when I struck her, but smiling from cheek to cheek. Hey, how about if I come stay over your place next time? What do you say? I say yes. Yes, that way I introduce you to the little ones. You're absolutely welcome anytime. Being friends for this long and they haven't really um, spent any time together at each other's houses, that's a little weird. Where was I? Was I dreaming? No, it was just my room. I could feel Seiko's warmth next to me. Or maybe I was somewhere else entirely. In this whole world, all of my life experiences were just one big dream. Man, it's hard to form a coherent thought when you're dead tired. Tomorrow's a big day. We start at sleepover, cultural festival, don't dare oversleep. Don't worry about that. Such an early bird. Told you. Anyways, good night. Sorry, I kind of wanted to skip through that. I was... Wow, that was quick. Yep, and they both passed out very quickly. You're awake? You hear your voice from deep asleep. You experienced that before class, remember? Some kind of ESP or something? Wait, you're sleeping during class? I have a question. In the future, even after you get married, will you still spend time with me like this? Of course I will. Talk about a bolt from the blue. For true? For rizzle. I mean, we're friends, you know? Through thick and thin, we always will be. Thanks. He spaz sometimes, you know that? <laughs> Make the covers up over her head like some girly anime heroine. If she really did think of that more than me as a friend, how was I supposed to react? <laughs> So this is going to explore the um, like the relationships between them more. I thought it was with a new class. I could be wrong. Seiko and I seem to be thinking the same thing. We were both so happy that there was another side of the coin. There was a certain awkwardness as well as a strange sensation, like they were about to fall through with the... Seiko became moaning and breathing heavily for real. She'd fallen fast asleep, facing me, curled into the fetal position. I lay there staring at her head. My hand moved to the tone volition, began gently stroking her hair. Strangely, it didn't feel awkward or embarrassing at all. Perhaps because I knew she was asleep, it just felt natural. Kind of like that. Slid my hand more towards her back and continued rubbing her head gently like a mother would her child. 
The lovely shape of her head was perfectly round. I just keep stroking her, thinking about this and that. Suddenly, she clung to me and buried her face in my chest. Was she still half awake? Strange scene this was, but this was but just for the night I was willing to let it slide. There, there, good, good girl. Hmm. Supposed to rain all evening, make sure you both take an umbrella with you. Got it. Ah. Thanks for the loner. Yes. Have fun today, Shinohara. Make sure you think about when you go on that date of ours. Yes, mother. She's not your mother, you know. <laughs> Say I could woken up a godly early pulled my futon away, forcing me up a chill with sneeze. <laughs> Both combed our hair, put our school uniforms, and scarfed down breakfast my mom made, and flew out of the house. Didn't hurry, would be late for setting up. Is there any point where I can stop reading for just a second? <laughs> Things are looking pretty grand this year, too. Yeah, it's really coming along together, but I forgot. I have to go get the bowls from the prep room. Seiko, you go on ahead to class, will you? Take your bag with you. Can, you. can I please save and, like, just stop for a minute? <laughs> My throat's starting to hurt. Kisaragi Fest. A school has a whole lot of history through it. I'm sick, and this is not very good for my throat. Excuse me. Oh, okay, that helps a tiny bit, but... Every student in junior, senior high, like, was busy getting ready for the festivities which were due to start in around ooh, 30 minutes. I wonder if I had an extra, any extra time afterwards to go check out the other class projects. Previously washed the bowls we were preparing to use and laid them out. Do the bowls and heads for two-door class 2-9, climbed the usual staircase heads, blah, 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 blah. The plan this year is to host a red bean soup restaurant. I smell sweet red bean base more and more clearly than ever step, step I took. Eating so much food breakfast, and here we are having more food ring. That's his traditional sweets. More than everyone look like enough food for blah blah blah. Now you have not seen you in so long. Looks like you'll be here plenty. Yo. It's kind of weird. It's really weird because, like... Naomi. Sergio so seems a bit out of sorts, you just staring blankly. Was he still half asleep? Bother me, but I literally had my hands full so I can well on it. I pushed on to the classroom. I wonder if this is before or after the events of Corpse Party. Couldn't actually see what was in front of my feet after a minute. It's kind of scary. It would be real shy and stop dropping it. <laughs> stop grabbing my ass. Haven't we already said our good mornings? There was just an opportunity to let Naomi hand to a strict angle to fend off my advances. <laughs> I do, I do love Seiko. <laughs> That's not good. Table where it has to be kept clean. Just so I have to go wash it all again. Here, I'll help. Thanks, sorry for the trouble. So, I'm appar interesting. I'm apparently playing, um... As, uh, Naomi, if that wasn't completely and totally obvious by now, the fact that Naomi is the only one that's speaking, I'm just skipping through this because you can kind of see, like, what's happening. Made for a busy day, and my throat's starting to hurt. When we weren't tending to customers, we were chasing after that slacker, Kishinuma. In the end, not only would we have a really fun day, we also wound up being the most popular classroom in the whole festival. Hopefully we can see more of the classrooms. I mean, I'd really like to. Clock struck six. Busy day due to a close. We all stood around. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The first game. Hmm. The first game. Didn't it start out like right at the end of the day with the culture festival? There's only seven of us left. Didn't it? Satoshi... Satoshi se... Seiko Norishige Kishinuma Suzumoto in my selfie Seemed everyone else already gone home, classroom Miss Shishido showed up Satoshi's little sister in tow Yeah, okay They're about to fall in The place looking like a good classroom again And then I tell a ghost story, right? Excuse me. If I can't even hold together air, everyone long enough to clean it up after ourselves. Did make Shikichi Kishinuma here surprisingly. Shut up! Her and Ayumi. Aww. 
I, I guess I ship them. I don't. I don't really ship anything. Kind of weird. I always remember that you're loved and respected. We may not have that effect, but we've always been watching you blossom here. I lent a hand where I could and did my best to help guide you. Ultimately, will walk your own path, become a fine young woman. Oh, that's right. Now you're leaving. Er, yeah, now you're leaving. She's leaving to going to a new school. It's, it's adorable. Well, Mayu is adorable. During the holidays, blah blah blah, so blah blah blah. This will be your last day. Everyone loved her. She was a, something. She was a kind person. Time waits for no one. Hmm. If you don't, if you don't watch out, you're gonna wake up one day. Time's flown right by, you and you won't even, don't even know. And of course. That's the problem right there. Upon mentioning, she produced a paper doll from her bag. The Sakshiko after ev ever after the Sakshiko ever after charm. If you've seen from Corpse, pa Corpse Party One, you know who Sakshiko and what this paper represents. That'd be a pretty badass tattoo. Like if you had, like, the Sakshiko charm and then like hands on all of it. That would be a sweet tattoo. Get that on my. Ha! Ah, it's afterwards! Don't do this! Seriously, it's dangerous. Lives are on the line. Aha! Now we actually get somewhere. Like 30 minutes of talking about nothing. Going to a bit overboard. You trust him. I'll smack you with my wrist guard thing. I'm not joking, I'm dead serious here. Spooked. In a true form, he was pleading for his life that we stop what we were doing. Sound that scary, though. If only we could have told them. It's really too bad that, um. The canon story of, um. Corpse Party was, is the. Like, one of the bad endings. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the bad endings. It's a time loop to seven four. Oh, remember it? I, all this, I remember it was coming, yes, worse can't possibly happen. <laughs> trying to, but I'm too trying to convince you, just be a good boy, wait for us to finish, okay? Burn the motherfucker. I don't care. I don't want to have to go back to... What's the school called? Heavenly Host? Obediently dug my nails into the thin paper doll, but although I was frantically foraging through my memories, trying to figure out what I was missing. It's too late. I'm going to pull on it, rips apart in the nine pieces, okay? Count of three. Each! That was the Japanese numbers, I think. I knew the Korean ones better. Uh, Do Set. No. No, there's definitely something wrong here. And I think we're going to wake up in that all too familiar setting. As soon as I reached the hallway, I fell to my knees with a thud. <laughs> no, no, what was that? A person? It was pitch black, square shaped like a person. The school infirmary door hung open near me, and in my panic state, I swore I'd seen a black, shadowy figure within it. No! What did the spirit say? They didn't subtitle it. I don't know Japanese. Ew. Don't show me a picture of you vomiting. And just like that, we're already back. Just happened. Dark, misty entity came towards me, entered my body from every orifice. Oh, God, wait. Did the darkening already get into her? I was almost killed. Felt as if a cold hand reached into my body, grabbed hold of my life's energy, turning all my internal organs inside out, and leaving me for dead. My stomach churning, bowels on fire, legs were twisted around themselves. Can pressure alone disrupt the human body this much? Ah, uh, it wasn't pressure. It was like pure malice, hatred, death, and destruction. This, this place, these circumstances, I've been here before. This Akshiko job destroys everything. Satoshi. Sorry, I'm skipping through this kind of quickly. I'm, I mean, this video is pretty freaking long. I'm trying to 
His friend may go back and walk very well. Seiko went off. A dark shadowy figure showed up. Oh, scared, so scared, so so scared, so very scared. Teeth are chattering, lips are curving, and mind of their own. Why would why would you leave me alone like that? Told I told her I'd go look. For, I'd go with her to look for Yuka. So why? Why she leave me behind? Or is this recapping everything? Oh my god, you're right. Oh, so Wait. Wait. No, 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 no. I've seen this before. Do you know how scared I was? I'm sorry, Naomi. Oh, oh, this is. I've seen, uh, I saw the anime. And this is exactly, this is exactly what's happening in the anime. Well, technically the anime is happening exactly what's in this. Hello? You see that, right? Can I actually start, like, doing things? You realize you got missing, right? How do you think my mother's going to feel? No, wait, please don't say anything like that. It's going to be alright. Oh, God. And, and we know what's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, we know what's going to happen. I don't want to relive this. Oh, God, this game is so fucking depressing. I don't want to have to see all these people die again. It's too much, man. I'll break. You're gonna find me hanging from a bathroom soon. Not really. I know. It's it's not funny to joke about suicide. I'm sorry. Apologize. I don't know, don't know exactly how to say this, but when there are loved ones, there it is again, deja vu. Everything was falling into place. New was going to happen. New fate had in store if we continue down this road. I guess I see where you're coming from. My mother's really kind of person. Last thing you want to do is worry her. But tell me to make sure she doesn't happen, right, Naomi? We need to get back. I don't, I don't know. If it's you and your family, but normal people don't work that way. No, what's happening? She's just. Seiko's going to get hanged. Yep. Apologize, please. Please. I don't want you of all people to speak to me like that. Please come and tell me that's not how you really feel. <gasps> I can make a choice! Oh god. Oh god, how do I make a choice? Okay, okay. No, we're apologizing. Seiko would run off and you shouldn't be. Pull myself together. Try to apologize. Seiko! I'm so, so, so. <coughs> the words wouldn't come as soon as I tried to form them. Something caught in my throat. I found myself unable to breathe. I was lower in a fit. Right. I'm sorry, Naomi. If I'm bothering you, I'll go. I'd hate to leave your side, but if that's what you want, I won't argue. No, for the love of fucking God, don't go. I'm not crying. It's because my, uh... Yeah, someone let, let an incense that's wreaking havoc on my freaking nose right now. Uh, Seiko ran off this and figure growing smaller and smaller until it vanished. It would be an awful, irreversible mistake. Oh, no. I felt almost before I come back full force could sense about malevolence within me. An outside force made me lash out Seiko. And then you're going to see Sakshiko standing, like, right next to you. Yep. My fingers found something pulled, and out from my throat came large clumps of long black hair. Oh god, I'd puke. I just kept pulling, pulling, couldn't believe how much there was. Oh god, I'd puke. Strand stretched all the way from my stomach through my esophagus and my hands, even though there's still more to pull. Emotion was unnatural, was creating a repulsive, sickening feeling. Where the hell did this hair come? Was it stuck in my throat? No. God, no. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see her die. Only a faint notion before, but now a certain other from some featuring event. Don't know why or where, but it was repeating time. Am I just not allowed to apologize? The dark will guiding me. Someone or something wanted Seiko to be killed in this timeline as well. I wasn't going to let that happen. Not without a fight. Good. For love of God. Let me just stop. I have to go after her. I have to apologize. Can't leave alone like this. Rain goes in a good direction. Just go. And then. Uh, it shifts. Fear starts going to shake the building so violent couldn't stand. Crashed on the ground, everything was moving. There were sounds of objects breaking. Last was chatting, scared for my life, so very, very afraid. Certain I was going to die. I kept wondering, how's it going to end? Was I going to be crushed? How badly would it hurt? My head was swimming with all kinds of worst case scenarios on my body, just so I didn't carry more. Just make it stop. No release, all I could do was curl up in a ball. Okay. 
please, 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 let me, like, actually just stop for a second. <laughs> I wondered how much time had passed. Could have been only for a moment, a few minutes or a few hours. All I know, I finally did end Dark Order's work. Gradually, I lose my stiff body and covering from floor blocks of dust and wood chips fell from my hair. Fire and debris got in my clothing, was cartridge and like sand every moment. It was not pleasant. Brush myself off as best I could, slowly rose my feet, slapping my skirt, and they had to clear away an excess dirt. Part of his neighbor like a white smoke billing through black hallway. It took me a moment to get my bearings once I fight. Aside from my eyes, what? I was quite completely caved in part of the floor. It's no longer possible to continue down the hall. No longer possible to trail Seiko. If I had been cowering from the earthquake only a few feet ahead, I'd be dead for sure. Swallowed up into whatever hell lay down there. And I moved now. I knelt down the edge of the hole and peered within. Too dark to see for sure. Make matters worse, seemed like the floor directly below had fallen out as well. Didn't dare continue. Just how deep this pit might go while I was. What can I do? Can I get around it? I have to hurry. Definitely had to hurry. Seiko commits suicide. Don't get me wrong. I like the whole fact of like... Ah, interesting. Okay. Oh, thank God. Wait, there's a darkening meter? Oh, something... I'm really sorry that this took on so frickin' long. But, um... Yeah, so that was the intro to Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Not exactly sure how I'm liking it too far, but then again, I've only been reading. I haven't actually played the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like I said, I'm, I'm sick and that incense is wreaking havoc on me. Um, anyways... Don't worry about me. I'll be alive in the next one, hopefully. Um, if you like this video and would, you actually, and would actually like to see me play some more Corpse Party Book of Shadows, let me know in the comment section below. Um, <clears throat> don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out a great deal. Um, I mean, I'm kind of enjoying it so far. Being able to see it from a first-person perspective would be kind of interesting. And who knows, maybe it'll break my uh, hatred of visual novels. But anyways, that's for the next episode. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see some more, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!